Jigga TV, kids. It's the one. Jigga TV. <laughs> you already know. You already know that. It's your boy CJ, man. Shout out to Jigga TV. What up, it's your boy Jigga with JiggaTV.com. You already know what the deal is. Make sure you hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. That's free. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and go ahead and ring that bell. Let's go. We're going to jump right into it. Birdman, he pumping $100 million into the Hot Boy Reunion. And guess what, y'all? Y'all still might not even see Turk. Man. I guess it is what it is. Birdman says he's willing to invest a hundred M's in his own of his own money to seal the deal on the Hot Boys reunion. Now that BG is free, but right now it sounds like Turk will be the odd man out. Damn, the Cash Money record boss dropped the update Wednesday on the Hot Boy reunion talks but only after being confronted with the stark difference in behavior regarding BG and Turk's release from prison. BG got red carpet treatment from Birdman following his release this month after 11 years inside, but Turk served nine years without any of the post-prison fanfare. Birdman said he didn't even have a relationship with Turk when he went in the big house, and it didn't even seem like it was a priority to include him in the reunion. Hey, don't take my word for it. Listen to Birdman himself. And I've been seeing it all over social media. Everybody said why Turk didn't receive that same red carpet treatment when he came home after being in prison almost nine years. Man, to be honest, that small talk, right? I ain't have a relationship with Turk. Not at all. So I ain't, I ain't just Turk. I ain't have a relationship with Turk. And a lot of do, do shit, say shit, and I ain't forgiving everybody. I ain't one of them. I'm old school, old law. G code, you heard me fly, but um, I ain't got number love for Turk, but he an H B, but I ain't I ain't have a relationship with Turk before he went to jail, so I didn't jost Turk. Okay, okay. The news might blindside Turk. He recently told Hip Hop Hot Boy reunion is imminent, and it seemed pretty excited to be on board. Birdman's calling for the main players for the tour, though, and Turk's been outside for some time now. Birdman is still likely harboring some grudge over Turk's legal battle from 2015 when he sued cash money for $1.3 million and eventually settled out of court. Panda, panda, panda. Y'all remember Designer? Man, Designer must register as a sex offender in that plane masturbation case. Designer just got sentenced in his mid-flight masturbation case and now he'll have to register as a sex offender. Man, that's wild. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, hip hop judge ordered the Panda rapper to register as a sex offender going forward in addition to other conditions in his two year probations, such as participating in a psychiatric evaluation and drug testing. He be mad lit. We don't know what he be talking about doing these interviews. Designers also barred from owning or possessing firearms and must perform 120 hours of community service. Designer pleaded guilty in the incident in exposing himself and whipping out his Johnson in the presence of a flight attendant back in April during a flight back from Japan. According to the initial charge documents, he told the arresting federal agent he didn't get that much cat overseas. Man, what kind of nonsense is that? He thought that was going to get him off. Designer announced he had to quit rap for good last November following takeoff's untimely demise. This is going to be interesting to see how this incident impacts his music going forward. Why? Why? Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Why do we fucking do this? I swear to God, it said ain't nothing. I'm done rap. I'm done rap. Yo, you hear me? It's done. This version of me is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I took take off, bro. It's done. 
Y'all wanted it, it's over. 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 Y'all killed the <laughs> Yo, well, <sighs> yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't live like this no more. RP Rock, RP Take Off, RP Nipsey, RP Biggie, RP everybody, bro. It's Tory. Man, y'all remember him too, man. It's crazy, man. Mistakes can get you behind the bars, man. Or register as a sex offender like that other guy. But Tory Lanez was denied bond in his Megan Thee Stallion case and has to stay behind bars pending his appeal. Tory will remain behind bars after being found guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. His request to be released on bond pending his appeal was just denied. For those who are unaware, Tory was asking a judge in Los Angeles to let him live with his son and his wife instead of staying behind bars while his appeals plays out. Tory had a hearing Thursday about the request, but a judge said no dice, noting Tory's convicted of a violent felony and has a history of violating court orders and isn't a US citizen as reasons for a thumbs down. Tory's defense argued the last point saying the Canadian rapper is in America legally on an active work visa and has no reason to go back to Canada, but that didn't seem to sway the judge. As we reported, Tory was given his sentence last month being handed a decade behind bars after facing over 22 years. He was found guilty of three charges last year, negligence, discharge of a firearm, assault with a semiotic firearm, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm. Torres spoke out after his sentencing, continuing to claim his innocence, saying he was wrongfully convicted. The infamous 2020 clip obtained by TMZ showed Megan lipping near the vehicle with a trail of blood behind her. Torres lawyer Jose Baez called out the incredible harsh sentence as it came last month also expressing disapproval of the prosecuting team for making an example out of his client damn free tory man y'all know it is one of my favorite artists man decade Ski shout out to sexy red sexy red lands number one on billboard tiktok charts finally we got some good hip-hop news Sexy Red's raps are making hip-hop history. She just took the game to pound town with her first number one hit on Billboard's new TikTok chart. On Thursday, Billboard and TikTok rolled out their inaugural chart that mentions musical activity on the app. And it was determined Sexy Red's ski -yee anthem ranks at the top of the pile. Sexy Red stated she always knew she'll end up being a number one type of artist. After a rowdy record got the honor and thanked all her fans for running the numbers up in a statement following her announcement, the track is the highlight of Sexy's Hood Hottest Princess album, which has taken her career to new heights, namely opening slots on Drake's It's All Blur Tour opposite 21 Savage. Hey, shout out to Six Sexy, man. Hey, we gonna wrap it up. It's Jigga with Jigga TV. Make sure y'all share this video. Hit that like button. Visit the website JiggaTV.com also. And if y'all need any type of promo, make sure y'all hit me. Follow the link. Go, to he go ahead to JiggaTV.com. Get the information. Send it to me. I got you. Let's go.